Hey everybody, happy Saturday, February 10th. And it's 41 days on the carnivore, carnivore journey so far. I get so excited because of the sun here in the Pacific Northwest, I get a little tongue tied. Hey, I wanted to run a few things by you this morning. Um, just another reminder of all these challenges that we go through, everybody that we're listening to, trying to do the right thing. Um, you know, maybe everyone we're listening to isn't always correct. Hence, one of my favorite books right here, Lies My Doctor Told Me by Dr. Ken Berry. Now, the book covers a variety of things. Several of the main topics over the last 50 years, like saturated fat, is it bad for you? Cholesterol, all a big variety of things, right? Big Pharma has tried to shift one narrative while the truth comes out to be something quite different. So. Dr. Ken Berry just does a, a very, very good job of lining everything out in this book. The one thing I will say, I have listened to the book on audio tape twice. The, the narrator, the narrator <laughs> of the audio book, it's, I don't know if it was done with a computer program or if it was done with someone with a very robotic voice, but it was horrible. I mean, it's just, you can't listen to it and I have to like back things up and listen to it again because it's so blocky and hello how are you here is the book and we want to make sure that it's this way and that way so if you don't mind reading this one you know I'm a huge fan of audiobooks because most of my time is on the road during the day or a great portion of it right so uh, I cheer on audiobooks, but I think I need to get a hold of Dr. Ken Berry and narrate this book for him. <laughs> Maybe I should do that. <laughs> anyway, uh, but yeah, if, if he could have a, a revised version, you know, uh, with a better narrator, uh, that would be great. But the content is still the same, right? So if you can read the book, highlight a few things, I think you'll really enjoy it. He also has a lot of little snapshots in there too. Uh, that's really creative and a lot of little myths about, you know, should we use suntan lotion? Should we do this or that? Um, you know, should we stretch before we exercise? And there's a variety of things that he touches base on that are just helpful, right? So anyway, I hope you enjoy that. As for today, it's Saturday, so I'm out cruising around during the day. Look at this beautiful view. This is our Theophos waterway. And uh, I hopped into a park and I just cruised right down all the, uh, sorry, I'm gonna go so fast here. The sun is gonna be right in my eyes. That, uh, we have a, a grain, that's a bunch of grain, what do you call those things? Grain hops, grain silos, grain silos. Yeah, it's pretty cool actually. And it's so beautiful here. We love days like this. So here it is early February, but this is what we get to appreciate on the weekend. So there is sunshine. It's not all depressing. <laughs> so some of my friends say, I could never live there because it's depressing. No, no, not really. There's a lot of great days like this one. Uh, yeah. So I wanted to share something with you um, as I'm cruising around town here. Uh, let me bring you in close. Okay, there we go, just briefly. I cheated last night. Little cheat, little cheat, but it's still a big cheat. Any cheat is a big cheat. So I had a uh, little bag of chocolate covered uh, peanuts. Yes, I know, I did. And guess what? Boy, did I pay for it. This morning, I kid you not, I had so much inflammation in the bottom part of my back. I, I just was like hunched over a little bit for the first 20 minutes of after I got up. So, it's just another proof, another, another proof, more proof, whatever, that cheating isn't worth it. Candy, today's ingredients are garbage. And I knew better, but you know, as we're doing great and I'm feeling good and losing more weight and I'm, my pants are a little looser, I can tighten my belt a little more because I have the slide belt so I can go a quarter inch at a time. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I made an idiotic mistake and I had a, a bag, but thankfully it wasn't a gallon of them or anything. And today's a new day. 
but I'm going to be transparent with you. So, you know, we'll see. Uh, I don't really think at this point it uh, stalled my weight loss that much as compared to um, the last time I fell off the wagon in early January. That was huge. That was carbs, candy, booze. That was a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Man. But that was uh, just uh, having fun with the new year with some friends. But uh, this time, yeah. Yeah, I, I blame myself, but I'm not going to cry about it. I'm going to get up like a grown up and uh, keep on keeping on. All right, enough with true confessions with Joel Norberg. <laughs> anyway, God bless you guys. Enjoy your Saturday and I'll talk to you later. Bye.